Hey guys, so in this video, we're gonna be breaking down the incoming Golden Frieza, as well as the tag Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta for Legends Fest Part 1, 2023. This will be Part 1, uh, and Part 2 will be breaking down Beast Gohan and the fat failed Fusion Gotenks. Um, I, I wanna split it up into two videos because otherwise this would just be a super mega ultra long video, so. Let's go ahead and start right away. So with Golden Frieza, we only have access to the information from the reveal. Whereas with the Blue Cow Can Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta, we can see their full kit on the official website. So let's just go through the information that we know from Golden Frieza right here from the reveal. So he is a yellow character. That's interesting because they literally just Zenkai, well not just Zenkai, but very recently zenkai LF Full Power Frieza. What was that Zenkai for, man? He kind of zenkai did nothing and then now we're getting a, a better LOE character. He's also ranged, which I guess is good. Uh, obviously, Frieza Force, Otherworld Warriors, Transforming Warrior, Lineage of Evil, and Universe Rep Z ability. So at, at uh, 14 star, it's going to be 35%. To Universe Rep, LOE, or Frieza Force, Base Strike and Blast, Attack, so both offenses. And then he should be giving 18% to Universe Rep Blast Defense. Unique Ability, 90% damage inflicted, reduces damage received by 70%. That is very good, very good to see 70% right there. 60% to Key Recovery, cannot be canceled. Card Draw Speed, and then minus 10 to Blast or its cost. This is a very big W base stat spread here. 90, 70... And then we got key recovery, card draw, and blast cost down for a range character. That's good. All, all the boxes are checked off right away for this Frieza. So that is actually a good start here. Okay, they're just instantly going to go with the ultimate right away here. So it deals massive impact damage. The following effects occur on hit. 100% chance to inflict paralyze. Okay, so obviously I am a uh, LOE fan. I like LOE characters. Frieza is my favorite character. Um, That is toxic. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is toxic. Just straight up. Uh, inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade minus 30% to special move, ultimate, and awakened arts power for 10 timer counts. So all these things are for 10 timer counts. He also does minus one arts card draw speed, plus five to all arts costs, and then plus two to sub count. Okay, interesting. And then of course it has blast armor. That's pretty that's to all enemies too. It's not just the current enemy. Uh, okay, so unique ability. The following effects occur if own remaining health is 50% or below after being hit by an enemy's arts attack while this character is on the battlefield activates once. After being hit. After being hit. That sounds like uh, our good friend. Uh, let me see if I can just pull him up here. That sounds like it's the same wording as our good friend Vegeta. Not this Vegeta. Where's the this guy? It's terrible Vegeta. Let's see if it's the same wording here. Uh, it says, if phone health is 50% or below. Hmm, I think it's a, a different wording. Because this says, you know what? Let me let me check um, another character that has a similar effect is the green 23rd World Tournament Goku. I, the reason why I'm checking this is not to waste time, but it's, it's literally just to see how the function of this mechanic works. This Goku also has a very similar mechanic. Uh, let's see. The following effects occur if owner remaining health is 50% or below after being hit by an enemy's art attack while this character's in the battle. I think that's the same wording. Yeah, okay, so this actually works the same as this Goku, which is how we want it to work. Um, it, so the second this freezes health drops below 50%, it'll instantly activate this effect. Destroys all of your enemy's cards, reduces enemy key by 100, and then no switching. That is actually, dude, that is what? That is insane. The reason why no switching on this is so strong is because typically when you have an effect like this activate, the enemy would just switch into another character that would like draw a card or and get key back or like, you know, draw a green card and like chain the green card in or something like that. So the fact that this also inflicts no switching I mean, the only way around this is if you the enemy pops their main ability, right? Um, I mean, we have characters now in the game that kind of don't care about key reduction. Like, for example, Ultra Janemba doesn't care about key reduction. I believe it's for the first 60 counts. But against most characters, this is going to be very, very hard to deal with. And then with Frieza, you can just, like, attack 
after this make them vanish and just rush because they're locked in okay that that seems very powerful to me this mechanic okay let's go on to the next set here so this is page three okay so his green card draw the ultimate arts cards this looks this green card looks like it's a stop time draws the ultimate arts card laser wait his special move draws the ultimate so we can use his ultimate multiple times unless his main ability doesn't give his ultimate which would be weird draws the ultimate arts card laser net death beam okay it's only one time of course Restores health by 15% and 50 key. Yeah, 50 key is nice. Um, I I'm really tired of these green cards. Actually, this Goku is a really good example of this. I'm really tired of these green cards that give 30 key. Like you're spending 10 key or 15 key or whatever it is to use the green card. And then you're only getting 30 key back. Like this is stupid. We're at the point now where this is too low. So the fact that this Frieza does get 50 on the green card is really nice. 20% damage for 15 counts, 10% to ultimate damage permanent, which is nice because he's going to draw the ultimate here. Um, and then he gets a permanent minus 10 to blue card cost. Activates twice. So we can get minus 20 to blue card cost. Okay. Um, the blue card. I don't know. Do they show the blue card animation? Is that the blue card? Is that the ultimate? No, it looks like that was probably the blue card. Let's just back up. That's his green card. And then, yeah, that's probably, yeah, that's his blue. Okay. So it is a ranged blue card, which is nice. Um, deals massive pierce damage, applies the following effects to self upon activation. That's, the reason why that's good is because he's a ranged character. And you're going to be using him on a team that has other ranged characters that buff blast attack. 30% um, to special move damage inflicted. He gets ultimate damage permanently when he uses the blue card. Wow. So he's getting 20% here, he's getting 10% here. Applies the following effects to enemy on hit. Randomly destroys two cards and 100% chance to inflict heavy bleed. That's a pretty good blue card. Extra damage, stacking ultimate damage. Well, stacking, aka one time only. Kills two cards and then 100% chance to bleed. Okay, yeah, that, that's that's certainly good. I'll take that. All right, next page. I think this is the last page we have for Frieza. Uh, unique ability. He has a special cover change against strike arts attacks, which is nice. Um, and then the following effects occur when changing cover. Reduce enemies' Dragon Balls by one. Activates once. Dragon Ball Destruction is a lot more powerful now that they've uh, lowered the rate at which Dragon Balls appear on Arts cards. There are some matches where it feels like it, they, like the change doesn't matter at all, but I think when you look at like a sample size of like 100 matches, overall it definitely is slower. So that actually increases the viability and effectiveness of Dragon Ball Destruction, so that's pretty strong. Inflicts all enemies with every downgrade, minus one Arch card draw speed, and then minus 15% to strike and blast arts power. That's, that's strong. It's all enemies. Yeah, that's, I mean, this is, the, I'm telling you guys, this is what we're seeing, seeing more of here. And it's becoming more common is we're just seeing characters that have different ways of reducing card draw speed, which is why I've been saying for a long time that characters, honestly, I, I almost want to say that it's necessary to have two card draw speed levels now. It's not actually necessary, but it's getting to the point where it is. So I guess that's all we have for Frieza here. So, yeah, okay, so we're going to take a look at Blue Kaioken Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta, but we're going to take a look at them on the website because they should have the full the full kit here. Um, this might be a long video, even though it is going to be split in half. This is why I'm doing half of uh, half here and then half on the other character. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we got here. A new tag character, Legends Limited, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Evolved Vegeta, and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku joins the fight. Vegeta is green, while Goku is reverse green. So this is actually the same. <laughs> this is the same typing as we had last year for the Tag Force, right? This means that the latter will have an advantage against purple and a disadvantage against blue, the reverse of regular green. These two have unparalleled offensive abilities and a unique gauge that can char that charges whenever they use Arts cards. Okay, so it's the similar. It's a similar gauge to like be the the old Beast Gohan. It's crazy to say that the old Beast Gohan. Uh, Ultra, Super Gogeta, uh, Dragon Fist, same, same kind of gauge as them. When the unique gauge is full, powerful effects will activate, such as an increase to damage inflicted and the nullification of enemy special cover changes, okay. Plus, if you have a, uh, if you have under a certain number of cards in your hand, draws arts cards when the unique gauge is full or when using the special arts. So it combines cover null with, with drawing cards, super powerful effects. Not only that, using arts cards when you have less than 30 key will also restore some key, allowing you to string together some serious combos. So that's obviously a mechanic that was taken from uh, the yellow evolution blue Vegeta. 
This character's defensive abilities are also excellent. With Vegeta having a special cover change against strike cards and Goku having one against blast cards, I guess they have like the, the, the double cover change mechanics. If they enter the battlefield with 70% or less health, unfavorable element factors for damage sustained will be nullified. Wait, what? Oh, okay, that's just... Okay, that that's just a different way of saying type neutrality defensively. Okay, yeah, that was a little confusing for a second. I was like, what the hell? Um, and the enemy's rising rush and main ability will also be sealed for a set number of timer counts. That's actually something that they... I don't think a lot of people talk about when it comes to Ultra Vegito Blue. Ultra Vegito Blue locking the Rising Rush for a long period of time, that is super annoying. That is insanely powerful. Especially for a character like this that you're, let, let, let's be honest, you're probably running this character next to Goku and Frieza. So if Goku and Frieza switch out into this character and this character is locking the enemy Rising Rush, like by the time the lock is over, you'll be able to go back into Goku and Frieza if the enemy rushes. So that's really, honestly, just ridiculously strong for this character. Continue to switch between Vegeta and Goku to restore health and key and act amazing tag attacks straight from the original series and experience the power of Legends Limited Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Evolve Vegeta, and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku. Okay, let's take a look here. So, one thing that we know is they are a ranged character, which for some reason they don't list on the site here, but uh, they are green. They are Vegeta Clan, Saiyan God, Key, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Universe, Reps, and Dude, this character has so many ridiculous tags. Sun Family, Saiyan, God Key, Universe Rep, Vegeta Clan finally getting a buff. Like, <laughs> yeah, th this is a character that is going to get a lot of value just due to the sheer number of teams they're on. Ridiculous. Okay, so the Tag Switch ability. Tag Switch to Goku and Reverse Element Factors. This will restore health and key while nullifying attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions for 10 counts. Don't forget that this ability also becomes more powerful when your health drops below 50%. So tag switch to Goku, reverse on Ellen factors, applies attribute upgrade, shortens sub count by two to sell for 15 counts. Interesting. Plus 10% to own health restoration for 15 counts and then nullifies own attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions for 10 timer counts. So they're not going to be able to uh, get like debuffed. A lot of characters now, like we just saw that golden Frieza, he, whenever he, he, uh, cover changes, he lowers enemies, um, enemies like, uh, what is it? It's, it's Arts Power? Yeah, Arts Power. So, these guys seemingly won't have to worry about like stuff like that. Also applies the following effects to self based on own remaining health. Health is 50% or more, restores health by 10%, restores key by 30. And then health is below 50%. They draw a blue card. Wow, okay. Uh, and then restores health by 20% and restores key by 50. 20% and 50 key. That's that's it for just doing the tag switch. That's pretty good. All right. And then the uh, 14 star Z ability, 38% to tag universe rep, tag Vegeta clan or tag Sun family. Blast attack and strike defense. So they are, looks like they are actually going to be more blast focused. And then 18% to God key based strike attack. Okay. Giving a slight buff to uh, strike attack there at the end. All right. So this is Vegeta, I believe. Because they start as Vegeta, right? Um, so the strike card... Attack your opponents without fear of incoming blast arts. So he has blast armor. Uh, minus three to own arts cost for four counts on hit. And then the same thing with the blast card. Really? That's pretty strong. So like how, how many cards can you fit into a four timer count window, I guess, is what we have to think about here. Or like, let's like three cards. I'm assuming you can fit three card hits into a four second window. So you're basically, if you're comboing with this character, they're basically going to have minus like what, 12, nine, whether it's three or four. You're, you're basically going to have minus nine to arts cost if you have the combo going with this character, which is pretty good. All right, the blue card. The special move will nullify enemy endurance effects and even charge the unique gauge. Okay, that's good. Deals massive impact damage that applies the following effects to self upon activation. 30% to special move damage inflicted for three counts. Minus 20% to enemy sustained damage cut effects for three counts. Charge the switch gauge by 20%. Yeah, that's strong, because remember, this is already charging the gauge. So you're basically getting double the effect of the charge when you use the blue card. Um, nullifies enemies, restore health when it reaches zero effect. Yeah, they also nullify endurance, and of course it has blast armor. That's good. 
Um, for some reason, the Boo Duo don't have Endurance Nullification on the blue cards, for whatever reason. Okay. Uh, the green card. Oh my god, is this long enough? The effects will change according to how many times the special arts has been used. Huh. Okay, so it's like Pycons? Its first use has the most powerful... Oh, the first use has the most powerful effect? Okay. Such as nullifying special cover change and destroying card effects. Restore its own health by 10%. 20% damage inflicted, 15% to blast damage inflicted by allies. I guess they're supporting a little bit on this. So they're getting 35% to blast damage from this. That's pretty good. Also applies the following effects to itself according to the number of times special arts card limit breaking evolution is used. So this is obviously just for Vegeta, right? Goku, dude, there's going to be a whole other side to this character. Oh my god, this video is going to go on forever. <laughs> Uh, card number one is randomly draws at most three new cards when you have three or fewer cards. 100 key. And then cover null for 10 counts. And his cards can't be destroyed. Yeah. It's so... It's this. That's pretty dumb. 10% HP. 35% to blast attack, 15% of that is being applied to the whole team. 100 key, a full hand, cover null, and your cards can't be destroyed. So what, you just pop this, and then you just like, tap all your cards, and then you go into Goku, and Goku draws a blue card if you have below the HP threshold. Okay. Uh, the second time you use this, you draw two cards, and then you get 60 key, but of course he doesn't get cover null, he doesn't get this as well, okay. And then the third time onwards, he just draws one card and gets 40 key, but he's still getting HP and he's still getting damage. So even if you use this three times, like it's not bad. It's certainly not as good. Like this is ridiculous. The first time you use this, it's, it's, it's insane. All right, let's, uh, let's move on to the unique abilities here. Entering the battlefield with 70% or less health will nullify unfavorable element factors for damage sustained and seal the enemy's rising rush and main ability for a set number of timer counts. There are also effects that increase key recovery, restore key when using arts, and much more. So this unique ability can be useful for both attack and defense. Okay, so let's take a look at the actual effects here. Applies the following effects to self when battle starts or when the character enters the battlefield via tag switch. 100% damage. Okay, so we actually typically don't see 100% baseline on just like normal LF characters. So they're actually bumping this. Usually it's 90. 20% special move damage inflicted, reduced damage received by 70%, that's good. Card draw speed by one level, and then it resets when you go to Goku. Falling effects occur when this character enters the battlefield, restores own key by 20, 70% damage, which is good. And then 40% to own key recovery for 15 counts. 40%. It's a little low. 40%, uh, I mean, they're, they're probably going to have other ways to get key. Um, we already did see that they stack cost reduction on these. That's, that, that's helpful. Inflicts all enemies that we downgrade plus 10 to strike and blast arts cost for five counts. That's going to be pretty good defensively. The falling effects also occur if own remaining health is 70% or below. Draw. Oh, he just draws a green card, which of course you can then use to chain into getting a full hand and cover null and stuff like that. Nullifies own unfavorable element factor for damage sustained for 10 counts. Seals enemies rising rush for 5 counts. That's the same amount of time that Ultra VB does, which is really powerful. Uh, this is this is really strong in combination with Goku and Frieza. Seals all enemies' main abilities for 5 timer counts. That's good. Falling effects occur if own key is 30%, or sorry, own key is 30 or lower after this character uses an arts card. Restores key by 20. Actually, oh, it only activates once. Okay. I just want to quickly see, is that the same as Evolution Blue Vegeta. I think it is. I think it's the same. I think Vegeta, Evolution Blue Vegeta also does 20. Let me go to the Zenkai version. Yeah, it's 20. But obviously this is only once. Oops, not that, this. Still good though. Activation count resets when a tag switch is performed. Shortens allies sub count by three. That, this is strong. Shortens allies sub count by three when you use a card when you have 30 or key or 30 key or lower. That this is this is powerful. Wow. Okay. 
Um, has a special cover change against strike arts attacks. Using arts will increase the unique gauge, and when it's full, it will grant buffs to damage inflicted and nullify the enemy special cover changes. Plus, consuming the unique gauge will cause it to charge even faster. Yeah, we haven't even covered the unique gauge yet. <laughs> Making this character stronger the more they fight. Knocks enemy back to long range. Cover change against strike cards. Combo bolt the blue card. All right, oh my god. <laughs> All right. We got a lot more left. Slightly slightly charges let me we got to compare this now to the other characters that have the same unique age here so who has this it's beast it's you and then it's dragon fist all right let's see uh slightly okay it's the same wording as dragon fist beast Charges. Gogeta, I think, also has charges. I think it's the same as Beast. Yeah, charges. So it's the same wording as Dragon Fist, which is... Again, it's hard to tell how good the character will be by just reading the kit, but... Dragon Fist's gauge definitely takes a little bit... Uh, a little bit to fill up, especially before his unique equipment effect is, is you know, factored in. Slightly charge his own unique gauge every time this character uses an arts card while they're on the battlefield. Once the unique gauge is full, it resets to zero and applies the following effects to self. Okay, so the, obviously the main difference between this one and Dragon Fist is that this resets. Randomly draws at most three new cards. Okay, so you just grab a full hand. You get 40 key. You get a permanent 20% damage buff. Activation count is shared between Vegeta and Goku. 20% damage on top of this, but it's only permanent for, or sorry, temporary for 15 counts. 50% to unique gauge charge rate. Activates twice. Huh. Let me... Let me check something, actually. Um... Oh boy, this might take a little bit to find in here. I wanted to check Dragon Fist's unique equipment. Here we go. What is the... I forget the exact percent on this. 50. So Dragon Fist's unique equipment gives him 50% to unique gauge charge rate. This gives you 50% to unique gauge charge rate, but this can activate twice. So this can give 100% to unique gauge charge rate. Can this be filled up infinite number of times? It just says it resets to zero. It doesn't, it doesn't say limited to a certain number of times. Because this is, because this is, this is dumb. Cover all for 10 counts, and they get a full hand, and they're getting key, and they're getting damage. You know why this is so stupid? Is because you can just chain the gauge into itself. This is why... I don't know if you, if you guys were playing back in the day when this guy released. If you had this guy's green card activated, which gave him 10 counts of cover all, you would just be able to chain his his uh, unique gauge like twice and draw multiple blue cards. And what you would do is you would chain the gauge into itself. Well, it, well, you wouldn't chain the gauge into itself because the gauge didn't give you cards to, to combo with. It just gave you a blue card. But what you would do is you would chain this gauge twice with covering all up and you'd finish the combo with the blue card to destroy the entire enemy's hand. And then you would just do it again. This is even more absurd because the gauge is giving you a full hand and it's giving you key and it's giving you, dude, you're just going to, this, this, this actually sounds ridiculous to me. You're just going to be able to infinite because you know why? Because it's, it's all this. Imagine getting a hundred percent chart. Like, are you just going to, are you just, are you literally going to be able to combo forever? Are you actually going to be able to combo forever? Unless I'm, am I like, am I like missing something about this? I might, I might be missing something about this. Actually. Because this sounds too powerful. You're getting a full hand, you're getting 40 key. Don't forget, by the way, 
They're stacking their cost reduction every time they use a card. Like, this character doesn't need card draw speed. I'm, they have card draw speed, but they don't get level 2 card draw speed. I, I mean, I guess the only time you're going to get interrupted here is in your, when you're fighting a character like, like Namek Goku, for example, that lowers your key every time you hit them. Dude. Wh what is this unique gauge? Because this, this is a permanent... It's permanent. Is permanent. Once you get these two stacks, you you just chain the unique age into its like I don't I don't know. Well, I'll, we'll have to wait and see how this plays out in game. But this actually seems like one of the single most broken mechanics in the entire game to me after reading this one time. Applies the following effects to enemy every time they use a strike or blast arts card while this character is in the battlefield. Which reduces key by five. Wow, that's. I mean, that's the, uh, you know, the OG transforming Rosé mechanic. That's still pretty good. Right? Obviously, it's not as powerful as like Red Pan, who does 15, but this is unlimited times. Um, and it's not even the fact that they have to get hit by this. Every time the enemy uses a card. So even if like you're in long range and the enemy uses a blast card and you like match their blast card with your blast card, that's still going to reduce their key by five because it's just it says when they use a card. Inflicts attribute downgrade minus 5% to strike and blast arts power for... To, wow, that's just... Yeah, that's also... That's good. Okay. Applies the following effects to self when this character is switched to standby. Restores health by 10%. Charges... Wait, what? Huh? What? You get a hundred percent to this. You can just Im you can immediately go back to Vegeta. Oh no, sorry. This is when you switch to standby. That's still ridiculous, though. What? So you switch to standby, and you just get a full tag switch gauge. That is that is ridiculous. Falling effects occur uh, upon landing a strike or a blast arts hit if there is a defeated battle member. Activates once. 5% health. What? Wait, what? That, that's gotta be a typo, right? No, th this actually can't be true. Oh no, it says activates once. Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> There's no way every strike and blast you do is gonna fill your unique gauge by 50%. <laughs> okay, yeah, activates once. Um, okay, I mean, that's still really good though. 10% to special move damage, minus 5 to own special move arts cost, 100% to vanish, and uh, then uh, removes enemy Dragon Ball by 1. Okay. I actually... This might be too... too str if I'm understanding how this works properly, like, this actually might be too good. I don't... Like, when you fill the unique age up twice, you win the game? Like, I don't, I don't really understand. You, it sounds like you just win the game to me. Uh, okay. Let's talk about Goku. Oh boy, this is fit this video, man. Uh, this is the reverse of green, so it has an advantage against purple, which green is normally at a disadvantage too. Similarly, it is. I'm gonna try and go a little bit faster through this Goku side. Tag switch to Vegeta and reverse element factors. This ability will also reduce the enemy's sustained damage cut effects, increase their blast damage received. Okay. So tag switch to Vegeta goes back to being green. Minus 15% enemy sustained damage cut effects to self, which is good. Inflicts all enemy that we downgrade plus 15% to blast damage received. Also applies the following effects to self based on own remaining health. This is the same um, the same effects that Vegeta has when going into Goku. So I'm not going to go through that. We've already been through this. Uh, so it looks like Goku has the same effects that Vegeta does, which is this is really strong. Um, just like Vegeta, the special move will nullify enemy endurance effects and even charge the unique gauge. Mass impact damage, 30% special move damage for three counts. Minus 20% enemy sustain damage. Yeah, this is this is this just I think this this the, the actual same blue card as Vegeta does, right? Let me just see. Uh so yeah, okay, it's the same exact thing. Same exact blue card. 
That's good. I like when the same blue card between both characters because it makes it, it makes it easier to remember. Um, while Vegeta's special arts increases blast damage inflicted, Goku's will cancel allies attribute up. Or sorry, uh, yeah, sorry, cancel allies attribute downgrades in normal conditions. Okay, uh, fifteen percent HP, twenty percent damage inflicted cancels allies attribute downgrades in normal conditions. So Vegeta's giving the support to the team, whereas Goku is canceling um their like debuffs basically. Also applies the following effects to self according to the number of times special arts card full power unleash is used. Um, is this the same? Full hand, 100 key, nullify, uh, special cover change nullification. Yeah, okay, it's the same. Same exact thing as Vegeta's, which I think is still good because technically this is a different green card than Vegeta's green card. So I think what, what's going to happen is you're able to use this once per switch, per tag. So like you're going to have this, like the card count per side is going to be independent of each other. So you're going to be able to get this effect once with Goku, and then you're going to be able to get this effect once with Vegeta is how it should work. I think, I think it's also because they're, they're called other thing. Like it says applies the following effects to self according to the number of time accounts, special arts card, full power unleashed is used. And then the other one for Vegeta is different. It's worded differently. It's a different name. Yeah. Limit breaking evolution. Okay. So yeah, that, that's, that's really strong. Okay. Um, here we go with the unique ability is going to go through this quickly. Just like with Vegeta, when entering the battlefield with 7% or less HP, this unique ability will nullify and favorable element factors for the damage sustained and seal the enemy's rising rush and main ability for a set number of timer counts. Okay, this is all the same. 20 key. Does Vegeta get that? I don't think... So. Does he? He gets 40. Wait, no, this is, this is a different one. Sorry. 20... 40% key recovery. Um, yeah, it's the same. Goku doesn't get the 70% damage because that's a permanent buff that Vegeta gets because he's the first character you're going to be switching into the battlefield with. Falling effects also occur if owner remaining health is 70% or below, draws a green card. So both Goku and Vegeta both draw green cards, which is insane because we know how powerful the first effects are for the green cards. Um, type neutral defensively for 10 counts, seals rush for 5 counts, and same thing with main ability. Falling effects occur if own key is 30 or below after this character uses an arts card. He also gets 20 key. And then minus 3 to ally sub count, which is really strong. Okay. Unlike Vegeta, Goku has a special cover change against blast arts. However, all the other effects are the same as Vegeta's. Slightly charges on unique gauge. Is this the same unique gauge? Yeah. 40 key, full hand, 20% damage, 20%, this ridiculous effect. And then cover all for 10 counts. Applies the following effects every enemy every time they use a strike or a blast. This is the same. Same as Vegeta. Same as Vegeta. Uh, same as Vegeta. Dude, yeah. Same as Vegeta. Uh, and then this is also the same as Vegeta. Um, so the one thing I want to make sure that we test out immediately when using this character is what the hell is this? What What is this? So, someone explain. What is this? I'm pretty sure the way this works is if you have this gauge fill up twice, you win the game. You're going to get a hundred percent unless I'm unless I'm misunderstanding how this works. You are getting 100% to the unique gauge charge rate. You are getting a full hand of cards. You are getting 40 key back and you're getting cover nullification on top of the fact that they are reducing their arts costs, stacking up every time they use a card. Like you're, you're just going to be able to essentially just infinitely chain the gauge into itself. Are you not? I'm like, what am I missing? What am I missing about this? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> this is going to be something we have to test out, but um, yeah. <laughs> that was the breakdown for Golden Frieza and the incoming tag Evolution Blue Vegeta and Blue Kaoken Goku. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you all in the next one.